Being scared of the boss at work is causing some communication issues. New research shows that half of American workers feel they have no one to turn to with a workplace issue. The survey asked workers who would they go to if they had an issue, but no HR department to turn to. So 32% said that they would keep quiet. Six in 10 said they feel too intimidated to go to their boss. Half of folks said that their manager is ineffective in how they communicate. So can companies make their employees feel more comfortable confiding their bosses? I mean, that should be in a relationship with an open door policy, right? It hope. should be, but we have continuing education at our office and oh, they always great. talk about speaking up and it's like the subway, right? If you see something, say something. But a lot of times if you don't know, either for somebody else or yourself, what issues really are, you could come across looking like you're complaining or whining. Mm -hmm. I know from personal experience. So maybe sometimes <laughs> you think you have a good idea, but you don't. I. Sometimes for me, the best person to bounce off of is somebody who either is experienced with that person as a supervisor or somebody outside the office you can talk to first. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I don't know. I, it's, I can totally see where all this research is coming from. I had a couple of instances in other jobs where I did say something about a couple of things and it was ignored. Mm -hmm. So I kind of felt like, all right, well, I'm not saying anything anymore. Right, it makes it worse if it's ignored. Right, too. I felt like yeah. I was like not important enough. And this to study it. brought out some good points about HR departments too. A lot of people don't trust their HR departments because yeah. they or feel know like they're just well. yeah, yeah, they don't be, know them. that too. They yeah. don't really that, interact with them much, and they think that the HR department's ultimate job is to look for the company's best interest, not the employee itself. So yeah. you know that really affects the relationship a little bit. I've definitely had that happen. Yeah. I, I would say that's not the case at all at my current place of employment, and they listen to us a lot. They talk about speaking up and all of that, but. That is definitely the case. I'm sure you guys have had some jobs where it's like that, especially oh, in sure. small yeah. positions. Yeah, and it's tough with bosses maybe. too, because you know, they're, it's it's a it's a dynamic where they have authority, obviously, and some bosses can wield that with a culture of intimidation, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, create some awkward situations. Brandon's only saying that because our boss is not currently in studio, so if <laughs> she was glaring from beyond the camera. Our there, boss is awesome. I think it's a it's it's tough. I'm like I I'm someone that likes to try and take care of everything on my own before bringing it to the boss. It's about choosing your battles, right? right? Like, certainly if it's something very serious, legal consequences, I think that's immediately, I don't care what the boss says, I need to tell someone about it. I think it's a matter of, you, do you, is the boss, would the boss be upset if they're the last person to find out? Right. I think that's a yes. good rule of thumb. And if they are one of those people that want, would be upset right. to find out last, you tell them first. Bring them in the loop. Mm -hmm. That's right. Good right. advice. Let's do a new one here. A dream wedding is not a dream wedding if there is no open bar. That's right. my motto, and there's a new study to back that up. It discovered a whopping 61% believe free booze makes for the perfect wedding. Yeah, it's low. Uh, yeah. yeah. In addition, 44% would want formal attire for their wedding, and 48% revealed they want a band instead of a DJ on their big day. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Three in ten actually said they prefer a more modern theme over the traditional church bells and a ballroom. So, really, let's talk about this open bar thing. <laughs> Must we have an open yeah. bar to enjoy a great wedding, to have the perfect wedding? Is it essential? Yes. I'm yeah. going to ask you two first. <laughs> well, I got married at a bar, so clearly, yeah. yes. Yeah. Amen to that. And look, if you aren't a big drinker, and that's totally fine, respect that, but people that are but, coming and giving you a gift and mm -hmm. spending a lot of time, what to let loose a, if you're going to dance. Yeah. Yes, and don't make them pay for it. Yeah, we had a very small wedding. It was only about 40 people. We had open bar, but we didn't have any dessert. We didn't do any flowers. Decorations were very minimal to save money. So you spend it on the food and the booze, yeah. right? So it's That's a big party a good for investment. everybody. And the music was just an iPad or iPod at the time. Whatever yeah. it was, yeah. yeah. Yeah, not a bad idea. I feel like open bars are the way to go. Yeah, I agree. I, so I'm actually, I, I got a wedding I'm going to be in where they're not having any drinking at all. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a dry one, and I'm just like, oh, call in sick. Boy. So one of the fo most fun weddings I went to was a dry one. <laughs> really? really? Yeah, and then I always say if you can't afford the hard liquor charges, then uh -huh. just do beer and wine. That's yeah. a good way or to go. Yeah. Now, beer was and it wine the most, is good. Was it the most fun one because you brought your own? <laughs> <laughs> no, so they, they knew that it was a situation where they had to do something, and they had a bunch of, like, fun soft drinks or agua frescas, and then it's also where I shot clay pigeons. They had, like, really amazing, oh. think hmm. about it, because you can trust people if you're shooting things with no alcohol. <laughs> That's why. Yeah. That's, that's a so really good they, like, point. There's a picture of me in like this <laughs> cocktail gown like shooting with a shotgun that's and it was a really good hilarious. time. It's probably I, the one time where like an open bar is a bad yeah, idea. Right? Yeah. Bad <laughs> idea. I think that's uh, it's a fair point because you know alcohol is different in different families, different right. cultures. So at least if you have some experiences that maybe people haven't tried before at a wedding that might be a good yeah. 
feel for not having booze. Yeah, totally. Well, mm -hmm. and I think there were a lot of kids there, so With the, I'm, I'm the in defense. <laughs> well, they weren't around those. But, you know, <laughs> they were not mix. around the alcohol. Give did the you hit any? <laughs> Although, no, I did not hit any clay pigeons. I was very upset. Okay. It's but not easy to ever tried it before. Oh, I can't it's imagine. It's really hard. Yeah, no, it's, I have not. Especially in heels. Especially yeah. in heels. <laughs> so are you like in a dress just yelling like, Pull! Yes, <laughs> yes, I was. With your goggles what? on? Is there no surprise that this is what in Texas? No, no. Yeah, that yeah, makes perfect go. sense. Was it a shotgun wedding or no? Uh, uh, literally, yes, but, but figuratively, no. Okay, very good. <laughs>